Hello and very warm welcome everyone, this is Marta from Drop of Sunshine, welcome on my YouTube channel. My friends, it's a first Monday of the month, so it's time for our monthly vlog hop. Together with beautiful and talented crafters from a Crafting Together with All Brands group, uh, we are coming every first Monday of the month to inspire you. As it's February, the theme for this month uh, vlog hop is love is in the air what you see here i have those two beautiful design papers which are for free download for all my group members i do have a little uh, group on the facebook called drop of inspiration and uh, ever so often i post some free downloadable designs there so if you would like to get the access to the uh, to these papers then uh, check the description area you will find the link to the group where you can join and um, you know uh, grab some free designs as well so i've decided to create a card and i'm starting from eight by eight card base and now i am creating some layers i've decided to place those uh, this pink color paper as my background and now i am creating this uh, front panel from this grayish color uh, paper I've designed those paper uh, to be a little bit uh, Valentine theme, but because there is no like a Valentine sentiment or anything, and because they're untraditional color, there's no red, it's more like a pink and grayish tone colors. Uh, this paper will be good for all your creation, for all others like uh, engagement, wedding cards, and not only, there's so much more you can do with it. Uh, so I've create my first panel and then I've slightly chopped a gray color paper all around because I don't want it to chop one side with the heart so I kind of trim a little bit from both ends and what you can do as well if you'd like uh, you can resize the printable papers this is something um, I could do as well and uh, I should probably use the 6x6 six six element but I wanted to have it slightly bigger uh, so that's why I've decided to trim it all around. Uh, now I am backing that piece with the white color paper. This will help it to stand out even more because uh, uh, it would be good, nice differentiation between the gray and pink color papers. But because I've backed it up with the white, it also matching nicely with the white frame I have from the card base. And this way I am adding a lot more dimension. And I think it's just looking way much nicer than if I would be putting that gray paper uh, directly on the top of the pink one without the um, without the frame now i'm twisting the paper because i almost accidentally glued it to the side and i wanted to have that little ombre look coming from the top of my of my card even though this uh, this pattern is kind of loose so it could be used in any direction but i just wanted to have this nice like a sky color uh, ombre because uh, what i'm gonna do i had this big die with the hot air balloon and as soon as i've uh, seen the uh, in the group chat that this is gonna be the theme for this monthly block hop i i knew i just want to use that hot air balloon uh, so uh, here you can see how i've created those two layers i've packed the front one with the double-sided foam tape just to give it some additional dimension and here is the die i was telling you about this is the uh, vintage travel collection from texture I'm not quite sure if the die is still available because that collection was very very popular and I know that um, I think almost everything from that collection was already sold out uh, so apologies if this is already sold uh, but if you don't have the die in a hot air balloon you can actually you know kind of draw the shape and and create something like that like cut a little bit uh, of the hot air balloon shape and then just use it as a layer uh, so here, because that die had a four layers, I've cut each single one uh, of them in different color cardstock. I use a little bit of the brown and then the top layer is from the gold cardstock because I wanted to have a little bit of the shine. Uh, normally, I like to put a little bit of the gold here and there uh, just so I have this little shininess to my card. Uh, so I've decided that this time I'm gonna use the gold paper for this top layer of the hot air 
balloon. I am using the liquid glue here just to adhere one layer on top of another and this way this this lovely design is becoming like really really dimensional uh, because this is like this one of those like um, a layering die when when you have those uh, um, you know uh, little openings and then with each single layer you have you have more dimension and it's just looking beautiful uh, this top layer gold uh, cardstock this is actually 300 gsm cardstock and uh, these die the quality of the die is absolutely amazing i just love it so it cut through that very very thick cardstock no trouble at all and just to let you know my friends i am using the gemini machine uh, so uh, this one i know that it has very powerful um, it's a very powerful machine with the good uh, pressure so uh, whenever i need something like very intricate to cut i'm always using that machine because i actually have both i'm going in between the Sizzix uh, um, big shot i have this uh, big shot plus machine and the gemini and i kind of use them both you know a little bit here and there uh, depending me on the need i had those hard and this is the part of the free design on the bottom of that gray uh, color paper there was a couple extra elements to cut and you can see them here i have those flowers and those heart and there was another circle and a sentiment as well and i wanted to give a little bit of the dimension to the heart shape as well so i grab a piece of the cardboard and i just glue my heart on top of the cardboard unfortunately when i was trimming it i kind of uh, cut through the heart shape so what i did i I actually adhere another heart on top of, of this one. I've print my design because I had few other inspiration to make with those papers. So that's why you can see I have a couple extra elements here as well. I have those uh, chipboard sentiments and these are coming from the Craft O'Clock company, uh, which I used to work in their design team. So I have plenty of those chipboards. But if you would like to achieve the similar effect, what you can do, you can print yourself a um, you know a page filled with sentiments on your computer and then adhere it to the cardboard and cut it to the pieces and you will have those lovely looking chipboard quotes as well. So once I add some double-sided foam tape to my hot air balloon, I am just adding it on my card. I am kind of shifting it towards the right side so it's not exactly in the center. And now I am start building my composition. I am using the hot glue to adhere all the elements. And uh, this is quite a simple card, but I think it's because there's so many like little elements, those flowers, hearts, it's really uh, looking like a properly built up composition, even though it's quite simple. But sometimes that simple is all you really need because uh, many occasions, uh, although I like to build up my composition and add more and more, uh, sometimes less is better. So I think this is one of those cards. It doesn't really need much to, to create this nice elegant look. I'm just trying to position all the elements so I will have this nice flow on the card. So it's starting from the top towards the bottom and then it's just going to in kind of a way from the uh, right to left and then go back to the to the right side. I like to create that composition uh, in this kind of a wavy pattern. So uh, even though it looks like uh, a little bit like chaotic, it's still organized chaos. So uh, uh, all the elements are looking nice and they create this nice flow on a card finally i'm just gonna finish off this card by adding a couple of the nouveau drops and for this card i use the uh, dream drops which is uh, this kind of a pearly uh, very shiny um, type of the nouveau drops i really really like them and i'm squeezing really nice and big pearls uh, to give it even more uh, dramatic look and my card is finished 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, please don't forget to say hi in the comment, to give a like and of course uh, check on the description area because you will find all the links to the entire vlog hub videos uh, down below in the description. So I hope you will enjoy them and you will visit all other creators as well and check what they create on this love is in the air theme. Stay blessed my friends, I am wishing you all a fabulous day and happy crafting and of course i hope you will visit me on the facebook group when you will get the access to those free printable papers stay blessed my friends and bye bye